Kate's circle of trust is tiny as Princess of Wales leans on Carol, Pippa, and James. Kate's circle of trust is tiny as the Princess of Wales leans on Carol, Pippa, and James, royal sources have claimed. The mother of three announced in March she had begun a course of preventative chemotherapy via a video message. Therefore, Kate, 42, has not appeared in public at all in an official capacity during 2024 as she focuses on her recovery. Friends of the Prince and Princess of Wales have spoken out about Kate avoiding any stress or anxiety for the time being, as she rests at Adelaide Cottage in Windsor. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. A friend of Kate and William said, the key thing for her now is avoiding any kind of stress or anxiety and just getting on with the business of getting better. They will bail out and be off to Sandringham the moment school breaks up. The friend added that Kate has preferred to lean on and confide in her family rather than her and William's circle of friends. Many of them will be at the Duke of Westminster's wedding next month, along with Prince William who is acting as best man during the service. They continued to tell the Daily Beast, the circle of trust is tiny. She has been surrounded by Carol and Michael, and, sister, Pippa and, brother, James have obviously been there for her as well. They are an incredibly tight family, and Catherine feels absolutely confident relying on them. They have been there for her for decades and never let her down. GV News has approached Kensington Palace for comment. During her video address, Kate said, In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy and I am now in the early stages of that treatment. The Princess of Wales continued, this of course came as a huge shock, and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But, most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that is appropriate for them, and to reassure them that I am going to be okay. Kensington Palace would not rule out a further health update on Princess Kate to keep the conspiracy theorists at bay, Kinsey Schofield has claimed. This comes as the Princess of Wales has remained absent from public royal duties in 2024, following her diagnosis and treatment for cancer earlier this year. After an outpouring of conspiracy theories regarding her whereabouts, the Princess released an announcement video, where she confirmed that after her planned abdominal surgery, doctors found cancer had been present, and she had begun preventative chemotherapy. Speaking to GB News about the Princess of Wales's health, Royal reporter Kinsey Schofield revealed that both the Royal Family and Middleton Family are offering support to Kate at the Sandringham Estate, as she continues her recovery. In discussion with Mark Dolan about the Princess, Schofield revealed reports that Kate is improving, however she may not be seen returning public engagements until the autumn. Schofield explained, sources have claimed that the Princess of Wales will probably not appear in public until the autumn, and is being surrounded by her birth family as she continues a course of preventative chemotherapy. The Wales family, along with the Middletons, are expected to spend next week at their home on the Sandringham estate. Schofield claimed that the reported updates emerging from various sources are not a bad omen, but royal fans should wait and see what happens with the princess.